All right, hello and got hello everybody, and welcome back to more of this uh, Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge Let's Play. I'm actually doing another part this week, so yeah, you'll actually get, I guess, more than one part this week. I, actually, I think you already got more than one part this week. I think you've gotten about two parts already, so you might even get a third part this week, so yeah. Well, just adjusting my mic so that it can actually pick up good sound. Because for some reason it doesn't look like it's trying to pick up good sound, so yeah. But yeah, you get more than one you're in more than uh you in more parts than usual this week just cause I'm trying to get through this let's play as quick as possible so once uh rising comes out I can get started on that. Also I also I got news, I heard the news earlier this week that it has been confirmed that Razor's Edge is no longer a Wii U exclusive and now it's uh and now it's going to be ported to the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Now, my feelings on that is, uh, I kind of saw it coming. I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know it would be, a, actually be Razor Edge. I thought it would be like the Sigma series, like, like they were renaming Ninja Gaiden 3 Sigma or something like that. But I actually saw it coming because there was already rumors flying around that the PS3 and Xbox 360 were going to get like the Sigma game that had even more extra content. In it. But it looks like they're not getting the game with even more extra content. They're just getting the Wii U version that we got uh, Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. Now. Now, now, what I think is that uh, this version is still going to be the best version of Ninja Gaiden 3. Also, um, also, I'm not that mad. I mean, I am kind of frustrated, but I'm not that mad because, yeah, the fanboys are going wild, but fanboys are always going to be like that. They're fanboys. They always figure out something to go wild about. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm kind of not surprised that the fanboys are acting, but fanboys aside, I mean, I, I'm glad other people can play the game now, because this is the best version of Ninja Gaiden 3. Now, it sucks that they're charging people 60 bucks for it on the other consoles, I mean, for pretty much what was just an update, which has been just an update, but regardless, I'm glad they're getting it, they're getting it this March, so yeah. So, so, so yeah, so yeah, I am glad other people will be able to play it now and all that. Now, I'm sticking to the Wii U version, but was to actually get the ported version, I would get it on the PlayStation 3. Will I? Most likely not. But if I do, I will most likely get it on the PlayStation 3, just for the simple fact that the PlayStation 3, I hate, uh, I mean, I hate to admit it, but it's better for playing this online than the Wii U is, because the Wii U is online, so I hasn't taken off to its full potential yet, so, yeah. And it's still kind of hard to get matchmaking in on this, and you'll, you'll have better voice chat and all that on PlayStation 3 than you would on uh, this, and you can do more, and you can actually more easier, more easily get a clan battle, so. But yeah, if I was to get it, I was getting get on PlayStation 3 for like the clan battles and all that shit, but I think that's a stupid reason just to buy the game, so, yeah, I'm gonna stick with most I get my Wii U version, so yeah, but I'm glad they'll get to play it, I'm no fanboy, I'm just a video game fan, I am, I admit, I am a fan of Nintendo, a big fan of Nintendo, but I'm not a fanboy. Also, I don't think this is the end in doom and gloom for Nintendo, like all these other people are saying. You got all these fanboys saying, oh my god, this is the end for Nintendo. Nintendo's finally dead, yada yada yada, praising. They're praising the little fanboyness and acting like the mature adults they are. I mean, shoot. I shoot, I mean, some of these people are older than me in their 30s and they're acting like freaking children. That's sad, so yeah. That's the reason I don't fanboy, because there's, I mean, it's no point, I mean, it makes you seem very immature, and you'll start seeing, the people that go around trolling, saying things like gay tendo, and stuff like that, are just, they're, they're childish to me, and they, especially if they're a grown man saying that, it shows that they haven't matured in their brain yet, so, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah I'm not surprised that this was gonna come to the, uh, come to the PS3 and all that, so, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, and regardless, I do like the fact that the PS3 and 360 owners do get to play this now, so yeah. So, 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 so yeah, so yeah I, mean, I am excited about that. Now, 
Now on to other other news I heard this week. Rayman's talking about that, talking about Games Logger being exclusive. There's also it's been confirmed that Rayman's Legends has been delayed to September. Socks, balls, because I was really looking forward to playing that this month. I was really looking forward to playing Rayman's Legends this month, so look like I won't be playing that. But yeah, it's been delayed till September because it's no longer a Wii U exclusive. It's now coming out in the PS3 and Xbox 360. It's now being ported, and the reason of the delay is so that the port can be finished. Which sucks that we have to wait on the Wii U to play the game all for the ported versions. Now, now, I kind of figured when I saw Rayman's Legends that it wasn't going to be a Wii U exclusive. I mean, I already had figured that one out too, because this is the way, because this is the way the Rayman series was. It was always a multiplayer game. And when I saw that it, so it's like we're showing off the Wii U trailer for it. I was like, dude, there's no way this is just a Wii U exclusive. I mean, I mean, seeing that trailer, I mean, I was just like, yeah, there's no way this is just a Wii U exclusive. So yeah. So yeah, Rayman's Legends is now being ported. Now, the Wii U version is still the only version that will be five players and use the Wii U gamepad feature. So, so, so yeah, the other versions are going to be made to play like of uh, Rayman's Legend. I mean, Rayman's Origins and all that. So, so yeah, so yeah, honestly, the Wii U is still getting the best version. I mean, they, they still got the best version of Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. So... So fanboys can say whatever they want, but Nintendo's still getting the better versions of these uh, said games that are being ported. So, I mean, think what you like. I mean, Nintendo isn't this kiddy, kiddish company. They're actually still this amazing company. And no, I don't do not think this is the end for Nintendo. I think this is just the beginning of the Wii U and the beginning of this long road ahead, but I think it will succeed in the end. I mean, we've seen stuff like this happen a lot with other video games and other video game systems in the past, not just Nintendo. Also, also, it's most likely going to happen that, all, that on the next generation console, all all third-party games are going to be multi-plat, so... So for all third-party games like uh, like Ninja Gaiden 3 and all those games, there's, those are all going to go multi-plat. So, but then, uh, but then a lot of the uh, second-party... Uh, but then a lot of the uh, second-party games will be go... Uh, will, will, will be... Um, will be exclusive to the company, like a lot of the games from Naughty Dog will still be exclusive to Sony, a lot of the games from, uh, games from Monolith Soft will be exclusive to Nintendo and other, com and, and other companies like that, that they usually make games exclusive for that said console will still be there, but a lot of the third party companies like Namco Bandai and all those companies will start making their games multi-plat, so yeah. Now, do I think do I think all third-party games are gonna go multi-plat? Uh, no, because because game because like the Tales series with Namco from Namco Bandai, I do not think that's gonna go full multi-plat. Just for the simple fact that the Tales series, uh, using to make a Tales game that make it specific for one console. I mean, in short, I mean, sure, it has been ported in the past, but usually when it's ported, they add extra content to the ported version, or, 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 or whatever. So, uh, so yeah, I don't think the Tail series is going to go full multiplayer. I think it's still going to stick to one console that is being made on, and then and just be made on that said one console. So. So, game, so I think there are going to be still certain third-party games that don't go full multiplayer. I'm just using the Tales series as an example. I'm pretty sure there's other third-party games that are also still exclusives that are made on made to work on said console and said console alone. Like the Persona games are made are made to work on the PlayStation hardware and then so on and so forth. So yeah. So yeah, so yeah, I think a lot of these games are gonna stay, uh, are, might stay, uh, ex I think some third-party games might still stay exclusive to said console, or whatever, but yeah, but yeah, I think, I don't think we're gonna see a lot more multi-platinum next-gen, uh, console, uh, 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 thing, 
it though, because we're right around the corner for the PS4 and Xbox 720 or Xbox Infinity, whatever the f you want to call the next Xbox, we're right around the corner for it. And I think, uh, I think with the next Xbox, we're going to see, uh, we're, we're the next Xbox and next place in the PlayStation 4, we're going to see them all, uh, we're going to see, we're going to see a lot of multiplats across the Wii U, PlayStation 4, and Xbox 720, so, and they all take, take use of that console's uh, said, said exclusive features, so, like, so, so, it's like, whatever features are, are exclusive to that said console, they'll take advantage of it, so, yeah. So, you see, we won't really see exclusives like we saw during this, uh, during this, uh, thing as big as what they, as big as what they used to be, but there'll still be certain exclusives and certain, and certain things like that, so, yeah. Like, 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 and I think a lot of the exclusives are going to be stuck with, uh, JRPGs. Because JRPGs, usually when they're made, they're made on said exclusive console. And they usually aren't, uh, ported as, port, or usually aren't multi-platform games. Usually when they make a JRPG, they make it for said console and said console alone. So, uh... So, one thing, uh, one thing I do think, uh... One thing I do think is that do think is that once uh is that once the uh is that is that once uh Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out, I think it will be like uh it will be like an exclusive on whatever console it comes out on. Whether it be the PlayStation 3 or the PlayStation 4. I'm honestly hoping Kingdom Hearts 3 it's on the PlayStation 3, but at this point it could possibly be on the PlayStation 4. I mean with the PlayStation 4 coming out right around the corner and Versus 13 not being done yet, I mean, I can see Square honestly making down the PlayStation 4, so yeah. So, so yeah, so, so, so yeah, yeah, that's what I think how the next gen console thing is going to be. I mean, I don't think we'll see as many exclusives as what we saw during this uh, console generation. So, yeah. I mean, it kind of sucks that we're not going to see exclusives be as big as what they were before. But, hey. But, but hey, but hey, but hey, that's how the uh, video game industry works nowadays. So, yeah. I mean, I already knew stuff like this was going to happen a way long time ago. I mean, it was just obvious that... It was just obvious that this was coming, so... Yeah. So, so, so yeah, yeah, more multiplayer games, yeah. More multiplayer games, I'm not shocked by it. I no, I don't think it's going to be the end for Nintendo. I mean, the same thing could have happened to Sony or Microsoft. And people people wouldn't be saying it's the end for them. It's only for the fact that, fact that, like Shukio said in one of his videos, it's the cool, it's the cool thing to do today is to hate on Nintendo. It's what's all the cool, because I guess it's what like all the cool people do is like hate on Nintendo because it's like the cool thing of the day, and it's ridiculous. I mean, it's honestly ridiculous that people think it's cool to hate on Nintendo when it just makes them look immature, childish, and really. It makes them look stupid in the end, so yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure there are people that hate on the 360 and PlayStation 3 and all that, but it, it it's not like the thing to do as much as it is with Nintendo. So yeah. But no, regardless, regardless, I don't think the big end is going anywhere anytime soon. So I think we'll think they'll still be around. For uh, for another uh, for another console generation or whatever. So I don't think the big end is about to die. Dang, missed that a couple times. Got him. 
So yeah, see I don't think the big N is actually going anywhere. I don't think they're gonna be dead anytime soon. I don't think Nintendo is going out of business. I don't think you're going I don't don't I don't, don't think the Wii U is gonna become like the Dreamcast. But I mean a lot of things a lot of people don't realize like part of the reason the Dreamcast failed unlike Nintendo was because was because Sega didn't account for their competition. Nintendo actually accounts for their competition and they do realize when this stuff happens and they do account for it. Sega didn't. Sega just thought, oh, well, we're the big dogs, we're not going to be defeated, yada, 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 and they didn't account for things like that with the PlayStation 2 and all that. Nintendo accounts for things like with the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 3 and all that kind of stuff, so, and they and they account for it and then do their own thing and then, um, then improve upon that, so yeah. I don't think the Wii U is going anywhere or about to die anytime soon. So yeah, but all right, I'm about to end this part here. I know this part wasn't as long as my other parts, but yeah, I was just trying to do a quick part to get through with this chapter for you guys. I will be back in my next part, taking upon the next chapter, and then you guys are Razor's Edge. Um, so yeah. Until then, people. I hope you all have a good weekend. I hope you all have a good. Uh, a good uh, weekend and all of that. I will be back hopefully by, let's say, Tuesday of next week with more of the uh, more of this Let's Play, more of the whole Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge Let's Play and all that. So, yeah. Until then, people, take care. Peace out. See you guys later.